Well, boys and girls, we've fucking had more proof today that the media cuts and pastes to their fucking heart's content and only fucking shares stories that they deem important when it fits their political narrative or, to put it more fucking obviously, the victim is the right fucking colour. This fucking story I only clocked because Donald Trump tweeted about it personally. There's his tweet. It's safe to say I would have never fucking seen the story because I didn't see it anywhere in the MSM until he fucking tweeted about it. Here's a copy of the video on the US Sun. Can this be for real? Oh, it's fucking real, all right. Look at this shit. Well, you don't want to watch it all, trust me. It's just some fucking asshole who gives some old fella a proper good pasting um, for no fucking reason. Clearly because he thinks he can get away with it. It's fucking despicable. Like, I'm always in a bad mood, but I don't know how normal people can see this shit and not start shaking with rage. And to be frank, I'm amazed there hasn't been more uh, tension on the streets in places that are racked by racial tensions, to be honest, when stuff like this happens. Uh, it was quite amazing in Britain that we didn't end up with a Northern Ireland scenario where you basically got Catholics and Protestants fighting with each other. Because when when the law doesn't treat people equally, the populace starts to get pissed off, understandably so, and they start taking the law in their own hands. And, and I'm somewhat amazed you haven't got gangs of fucking white trash chavy fuckers in Burberry tracksuits knocking the shite out of Muslims because the police weren't protecting young white girls from the grooming gangs. I, I, and I'm, I honestly think if they don't get a grip of this type of shit, that's what you're going to start seeing. You're going to see mass civil unrest. So Donald Trump has demanded action after a disturbing video showed a young man beat an elderly care home resident. On Thursday night, he tweeted, Is this even possible to believe? Can it be for real? Where is the nursing home? How was the victim doing? It was fucking shocking. The thing that irritated me about it was, if you go on to, like, Google, and you type in, let's say man beating elderly patient you don't find very much the top links there what have we got we've got like wwj news radio wordpress and then the fucking daily mail like britain's right wing paper well, that's it even after the president's tweeted it like the daily mail covered it after trump tweeted it before that nothing like just no one no big fucking news agencies but if you type in something like, oh, I don't know. Black jogger shot, Georgia. Then you just get bombarded with it. It's on BBC News, France 24, gone global all around the world. CBS News, Washington Post. Yeah, it's the Washington Post. It, they, they don't give a fuck. It, it's, it's obviously... An over and obvious bias. The media only cares about white on black criminality. They, do, they don't give a shit about the, the statistics. And, and, and I don't need to start rooting through them because I'm sure everybody listening to me knows it. But the statistics are actually not what you would think. When you get morons on Twitter saying shit like, Question for the white folks on my timeline. What are you doing to make sure that you're raising children who won't kill mine? Insane shit like that gets 201,000 likes, which proves that all we've achieved with 10 years of fucking social justice warrior bullshit is pathologizing millions of people to genuinely despise someone else based on the colour. Collectivization always ends in fucking misery. It doesn't matter what the group is, doesn't matter where they try it, doesn't matter if it's in India or China or fucking Soviet Russia or fucking America. When you collectivise entire groups, you just generate resentment and resentment for whatever the group is turns into fucking hatred and then hatred leads to violence. So these barmy cunts shouldn't even be going near this stuff and it certainly shouldn't be getting liked by 200 and fucking odd thousand people. Unbelievable. The, the answer to this fucking stuff, as always, is individualism. So even someone like me that is predisposed to have a bias because I've spent a lot of time in Muslim countries and I didn't fucking like them. You get around 
pathological hatred which would lead to illogical actions like violence and people who don't deserve such things because you're an individual and you view people as such so you might have at the back i might have in the back of my mind oh i'm i expect less from this person and, and it's more likely he's going to be an arsehole but ultimately it doesn't affect you in the in a way that has massive negative consequences because at the back of my mind i'm thinking well it might be all right let's see what happens collectivism leads nowhere good it leads to destruction it collapses societies and the idea that we've now decided the pendulum swung too far back nobody would think that it wasn't unfair um when you had the jim crow era and you had laws against that ensured that black people weren't equal under the eyes of the law but the pendulum's now swung too far but too far the other way and you've got a situation where people actively encourage discrimination and hatred and fear of people based on the skin colour and, and I just to use my fucking granny's euphemisms two fucking wrongs don't make a right do they I think anyone who's not a mad cunt can fucking see it a mile off this type of shit shouldn't be encouraged and it certainly shouldn't be liked so I'm sick of fucking reading about this shit Michael Brown, that was the worst one. Credit to the Washington Post for running it. But the, they're only doing it because they published wrong information for a month first. That whole thing was a fiction. It didn't happen. Michael Brown was a fucking hooligan. A thug. He just robbed a shop, punched some fucking old bloke, and then poked a few into a copper. And all we got was a month of, oh yeah, this poor young lad's been fucking murdered for no reason. Do you see the difference between that shit and this shit? It's obvious to anyone with a brain. They don't treat people equally under the eyes of the law anymore. They've gone too far the other way. It's instant fucking denial of any wrongdoing on the, ha on the behalf of someone that happens to be black. And it's always giving them the benefit of the doubt if the roles are reversed. And call me a bluff old traditionalist. I don't think that's very fucking progressive, do you? How about we go back to treating everybody equal under the eyes of the law and having a balanced and reasonable view of a crime based on each case's individual merits. Wait for the evidence to come out and see what the crack is instead of going fucking apeshit between, before anybody even knows what went on. So I'm very intrigued to see where this goes. I don't know what the extenuating circumstances are. I don't know whether the guy was indeed merely out for a jog, or maybe he just robbed some fucker. Who knows? I'm not basing my judgments off what he looks like, or what the perpetrators look like. I'm basing my judgments off a crime was committed. We don't know the, cir the circumstances surrounding it. Let's wait and see. But the response to a fucking piece of criminality, it doesn't matter whether it's an old man getting filled in in a fucking care home, or some cunt getting shot while he's out for a run. The response should never be that. And if you fucking think it is a sensible response, you're part of the fucking problem.